All right, boys and girls, Miss Oily's wearing her angel Santa hat today because we're going to read a story about dream snow. This is one of my favorite stories. It's written by Eric Carl. Eric Carl, I heart Eric Carl. He's really, really good, Arthur. He's the one that writes The Very Hungry Caterpillar and a lot of your other favorite stories, okay? So Eric Carl, Dream Snow. On a small farm, there lived a farmer. He had only a few animals. He could count them on fingers of one hand. So let's do it together. So the farmer named his animals one, two, three, four, and five. By the end of the barn stood a small tree. The farmer named it Tree. Hello, tree, he would say as he passed it. The farmer took a good care of one, two, three, four, and five. Every day he fed them and he cleaned their stalls. In the evening, when his farm work was done, he went to his house. Then he sat in his favorite chair. He drank a cup of hot peppermint tea. Oh, it smells so good. And he ate a slice of bread with honey on it, as he did every night. One night, as he sat there, the farmer felt very cozy and a bit tired. Heavens, he said, Yachty, <sighs> it's almost Christmas and it hasn't even snowed yet. With that, he fell asleep. Soon, he dreamed of falling snowflakes that gently covered him with a blanket of snow. There he is. The snowflakes gently covered one with a white blanket. Hmm, I wonder what kind of animal one is. Hmm, let's look at his shape. It looks like he might have some legs. Maybe a head right here. I wonder if he's got a tail. Let's see. Oh, one is a beautiful horse. Oh my goodness. The snowflakes gently covered two with a white blanket of snow. Hmm, I wonder what kind of animal two is. Hmm, I wonder if he's got four legs or two legs. Hmm, or a tail. Hmm, wonder if he says moo or cluck. <laughs> Let's find out. <gasps> it's a cow! <laughs> the snowflakes gently covered three with a white blanket of snow. Oh my goodness, I wonder what kind of animal is that? Does he have four legs? Does he have fur or feathers? Hmm, let's see if we can figure this one out. I don't know. You guys are such good guessers. Let's see. It's a sheep. Oops. Then, the snowflakes gently covered four with a white blanket of snow. Hmm. Four. Hmm. I wonder what you could be. You're shorter than the other one, so you're not as big as a cow and a horse. Hmm. I wonder if you have a long tail or a curly tail. Hmm. Let's see. Four is a pig. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> And the snowflakes gently covered five with a white blanket of snow. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know. I think this one could possibly have two legs and maybe some feathers. Let's see. <laughs> it's a rooster chicken. All right. <laughs> well. That was all a dream from the farmer. The farmer woke up from his dream and he looked out the window and saw that there was snow. It was not dream snow. It was real snow. And it snowed while he had napped. 
And look, see the animals are fine in the barn. They were not covered in snow because they were in a safe place. Now the snow clouds had moved away and the moon and the stars sparkled in the wintry night sky. One, two, three, four, and five were safe and fast asleep. Oh my, oh my, oh my, cried the farmer, I almost forgot. Quickly he put on his warm coat, his warm boots, his warm hat, and his warm gloves. He grabbed a box and slung a sack over his shoulder and dashed outside. Running past one, two, three, four, and five, the farmer shouted, I almost forgot, I almost forgot, waking up the animals. They looked and they wondered what the farmer was up to now. They watched as he unpacked the box and emptied the sack. Hmm, I wonder what he's got in there. Hmm. Ah, one, three, three, four, and five watched as he decorated the tree and he shouted, Merry Christmas to all, and he pushed the button. Some of the dream snow, it sounds like to me. It might be the tinsel in the trees, too. Merry Christmas to all. I hope you have good dream snow, too. Bye, boys and girls.